Hi guys and welcome to the channel Ron's Keto Cafe and I'm Ron. Well if you're new welcome and if you're a returning member welcome back. And if you're a new member could you please share like and smash that subscribe button. It definitely helps my channel grow and thank you for coming along for all your new subscribers and all your returning subscribers. So today we're going to be making some pizza pinwheels. I haven't made this before and I've been wanting to try this for a little while. So we took some, a couple of low carb uh, mission wraps and we just put a little bit of Reyes pizza sauce with some mozzarella cheese. We did one plain, we did one with pepperoni slices, and we rolled them up into a burrito type thing, and we popped it into the air fryer for about 10 minutes at 400 degrees. And then I cut them up, and I added a little bit of uh, sauce in the middle of a paper plate along with some Romano cheese. And it can be any of your cheese of your choice. So without further ado, why don't we just go right into the recipe. It's pretty simple, basic, straightforward, and you can add any spices that your heart is content. Remember, i got to be careful with spices right now because I have acid reflux really bad. Again, thank you for coming along. Let's go right into the video. Oh, yeah, most important, I know. You're tired of hearing about it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Love you guys. Okay, guys, so these are the gluten-free mission wraps that we're going to be using. And uh, it can be really any mission wraps. Just make sure it's low-carb. It's something that you can have for low-carb keto. And if you're concerned about the macros there, I'll flip the packet around the back side so you can see what the macros look like. For our choice of sauce, we're going to use this Rayos marinara sauce. I had a little bit of leftover in the refrigerator and wanted to use it up. And there's the macros on the back. Again, very clean. And no pizza could be complete without your favorite mozzarella cheese. And this is the regular store-bought brand. And again, I'm showing the macros on the back. It's very clean and fine for what we're looking for. Well, let's make one plain and one with a little bit of pepperoni slices. I ended up taking two wraps out of the mission wrap uh, package and you can make as many as you want or as little as you want, it doesn't matter. It's just again, we're just trying to watch your carbs tonight. And all I did at this point, I just laid out the uh, mission wrap on the cutting board with the overhead camera to try to get a better angle shot for you guys. And I did order a new uh, camera tripod, so hopefully I'm gonna just try to get a lot better angles and a lot better bit video quality so you guys can really see what's going on. So now I'm just taking maybe about a few tablespoons of pizza sauce on there. Not even, just, it's kind of whatever you feel like putting off a sauce and how saucy you want it. Again, I'm trying to watch out the carbs and the, uh, the gird I have. So, you know, I, I love a lot of this stuff there, but it's been, a lot of it's really been bothering my stomach and I, I got to be very vigilant and careful. You just want to spread it out, keep it away from the outer edges. Just, and I'm adding maybe one, maybe about a half a cup of, uh, mozzarella cheese. I'm not really uh, weighing it up or anything. I'm just kind of eyeballing what I think that should be on my wrap on the inside. And then this particular wrap, I think I ended up using about maybe four, maybe five pepperoni slices just to make something different. And then I rolled it up into a burrito and I popped it into the air fryer face down. And then at that point, and I moved it into the kitchen, I sprayed it with a little bit of cooking oil spray. And I popped it in the 400 degree air fryer, preheated oven for approximately maybe six minutes, I'm gonna say. And then I cut them up to little bite-sized uh, bites and I put it on a paper plate and a little bit of uh, pizza sauce in the middle. And then I added some Romano cheese on the top of that. And it could be any of your favorite cheese. And these came up really, really great for the pizza pinwheels. And you could probably eat them with a toothpick or and that sort of thing to hold them together. And then, then at this point, I realized that one of my wraps was up facing up and I wanted to face it down. And I spray, sprayed both sides of it with cooking spray. I forgot to show that part. And uh, once I uh, they came out of the the air fryer, what I did was I let them cool down a little bit before I cut them up. And you, can, you, don't, you don't even really have to cut them up there, but I just kind of wanted it to be something different and unique. But uh, next time I make these, I'm gonna leave them fully rolled up like that, and I'm just gonna dip them in a little bit of sauce. And it doesn't have to be pizza sauce. It could be any of your favorite uh, ranch sauce or anything like that, or uh, white sauce, or, you know, your only imagination stands in a way. And as far as your toppings go, it could be plain. And, uh, this particular one, I made it plain. And, and again, it came up really, really good. And I wasn't really sure on the time or the temperature because this is just all experimental. And again, if you want it more spicy, you add more spices to it. But, you know, I think uh, the Reyes company is one of the best companies out there for low carb uh, spaghetti sauce. And like, again, the guys, tomatoes pack carbs. So you gotta be very careful if you're counting carbs and you wanna be uh, 
you know, to keep your body in the ketosis. But, uh, and then I'm, again, I'm just laying it down kind of flat a little bit to make sure and when it's, one started cracking a little bit on the other side, but they, it still came out okay. And then I'm just popping it into the air fryer at this point and uh, I'm setting it up at 400 and then when it's just, I guess, on the time right now. Because I was just like, again, I'm just experimenting how they should come out and what, and uh, they came out really good. I set it for uh, six minutes and set it, forget it, and then you have the pizza wraps that came out of the oven like that. And again, you can eat those just like that if you want to. If you have any hamburger or any sausages, you can put that, in, you know, pre-cooked stuff that you can put in the middle, which is fine. This is a good way also using leftovers. You can even put egg in here too. That would be really good too. They have like an egg uh, tomato type uh, pizza uh, snack like this. And again, if you don't want to cut it up, that's fine. And then when I was cutting it up, it started crunching up a little bit like a croissant. And that was, I goes like, like here, and he goes, oh, I didn't know if I was going to be able to get a good photograph out of this or not. But once I started cutting it a little stronger through with the knife, it was fine. And again, I, again, I say in my other videos, I have to start thinking about investing in some new different stuff because I, I need to get some really uh, good knife sharpener and a good uh, knife set. This is an old cheap set I bought at the uh, Marshall's uh, department store. I mean, I was really fine with it at the time when I bought it, but it's so dull. It, it probably wouldn't even slice through watermelon right now without cutting yourself or hurting yourself. So definitely, uh, and that'll be a future purchase, maybe a Christmas, early Christmas present, I'm thinking. Uh, so what do you guys think there uh, about everything? How do you think my video is coming out? Do you like what uh, you see? If you do, don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and uh, of course now i'm cutting out the other one you can see i had the same issue with that one there wasn't really an issue but it was just the way it was cutting there it kind of like was driving me fits there and uh maybe i'll probably invest in a better pair of uh, kitchen uh, shears or to have a better pair of scissors at some point now i'm just taking everything off of the uh cutting board and uh we're gonna, we're gonna play it we're gonna just take the same but uh, Ray of sauce and put maybe a couple of tablespoons around the middle of the uh, plate there and just put a little bit of Romano cheese on the top there for a snack. And you can, uh, it doesn't have to be Romano cheese, it could be any cheese of your choice. Uh, I mean, I like Romano cheese, Parmesan cheese, it's all good to me. And I, I, I'm a big dairy fan, but I gotta be careful with the dairy because the dairies can also pack on a lot of weight if you're not careful with it. And, uh, you know, this is how I've been very successful, guys. I lost 150 pounds in a three year plus period, and I feel good for the most part. My weight is staying off. Uh, and I continue to put out these awesome recipes for you guys to enjoy. And let me know uh, in the show more did you ever make this type of uh, snack before? And if you have, what, what, are, what are your favorite pizza toppings? And mine's, I can eat just about anything, I just don't like anchovies. And, uh, you know, again, I'm just trying to be careful over here and how I'm plating my, uh, my dish over here. And uh, there you have our final product. So what do you guys think? Is it going to be good or not? Well, I'm going to tell you something. These came up better than I expected. And uh, enjoy the day. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, don't forget to, again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.